Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing. You know, my dad, we're all going. I want you to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. I mean, our Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, you name it, we're on it. But if you want to see our visuals, you got to go over to our YouTube channel. That's where you can see all our visuals. Thank you in advance. Hey, man, listen, man. We got a gym in here today. Somebody, guys, that, <laughs> listen, my kinfo tried to get this woman on my show. And I told her, I said, man... Uh, I'm not putting her on my show, man, because y'all partners. It had nothing to do with no music or nothing. Shout out to Shanique and Shanice. Y'all hard-headed as hell and been that way since you was babies. And I remember the day you were conceived. But anyway, I got a gem in here today, y'all. This woman right here, man, listen, man, when you think about the greats, man. I mean, I, like I said, I talk about all the different genres from Erica Badu to all the different people that's from down here in the dirty, man. Down here in Dallas, Texas, man. You, you talk about... Anywhere from DOC, anywhere. What's that nigga that, that uh, uh, you, you know, Nemesis back in the days? There's a history of litany of people. Lil Ronnie, throw that ass in a circle. There's so many different, just different genres of music here. You know what I'm saying? And, and Mo 3. You know, different people that, listen, different people done, done challenged this woman about even bringing Mo3 name up in the songs that she done sung. South Dallas Kiki oh, in the building for the first time on Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. What's good? What's going on, baby? I'm feeling good, looking great, man. Man, listen, man, I'm going to be real with you, man. I love what you're doing. And I want to really go off right now about the music, how le <laughs> the level that it's on. But I'm going to go on and let Miss Jamaica talk to you first because that's how we do it on here. Let's go. Okay. Um, so with the name South Dallas Kiki, you were born in South Dallas? I actually was then. I was born in the Grove. Oh, hell. I was born in the Grove. Yeah, yeah. We started this off all right. <laughs> I ahead. was born in the Grove. I just was raised up in St. Ellis. So it was just like. How old were you when you went to South Dallas? I was still a baby. I've okay. been in St. Ellis all my life, literally. It's just my mama lived in the Grove. So I lived with my mama in the Grove, of course. But, you know, after school, we going to St. Ellis. So uh, all my people from St. Ellis, my auntie, my uncles, my papa had on, on the little small church down there in Turner Court. So I was raised down there on the dirt mm -hmm. road, 232. Um, um, so that's how I got the name Sad Alice Kiki. I don't know. I tell everybody that. They be like, she ain't from Sad Alice trying to take me down. You know uh -huh, how they go. Uh -huh. But it ain't no secret. She, my mama stayed in the grove. I, I graduated from Lincoln. I raised up in Sad Alice all my life. So yeah, that's just what that is. Yeah. So um, were you raised with your mom and dad? Uh, no. Actually, uh, my daddy from East Dallas. Uh, old pimp. <laughs> uh, yeah, but nah, my mama... Uh, it was just me and my mom and my brother. Um, but your brother, you know. younger, or older? No, I got an older brother. I got an oh, older. Okay, so you the baby? Yeah, I'm the baby. Uh, on my daddy's side, it's ten of us. I'm, I'm number ten. Yeah. I'm yeah. Three. See why yeah. you say he a him? Yeah. I'm a so boo. was he in your life though? Your dad? Um, he sent money. That's it. <laughs> okay, he but as money. a child growing up, is it more important? Okay, think back to then. Not thinking about now, but think back then. Were you happy with just getting the money and him not being there, or would you prefer for him no. to be there? No, I, I had a, I done had breakdowns to him just to cry, let him know about what I'm going through, even stuff I go through with men. Mm -hmm. You know, I feel like it's because my daddy wasn't ever there. You know, mm -hmm. so um, no, nah, I definitely feel like he should have gave me way more time. So yeah, because you have a lot of men out there feel like, well, as long as I'm paying the money, child support, whatever. Yeah, she good or he good? I wasn't. I needed a. I was missing a lot of things. Just. You know, from a male's perspective. Um, Give me an example. Give me an example of when you were younger, something that you experienced where you felt like if your dad was in, you were there, that it would have went differently. Um, shit, a Just, lot of shit. A lot. Give of, me one example. I think a lot of give anger, me a good one. I think a lot of anger that I go through with my mom. Um, I feel like, and I can't just give you one. It's a lot we go through mm -hmm. as as mom and daughter, and I feel like. He's part of the problem because he should have been there to, I don't know. I, I feel like when everything on one person, you never know the, the the other perspective of things. So when you're growing up, if you're only raised by one parent, you're, you're only going to know that, that that one, you know, you're only taught by doing one thing. I feel like he did things differently from her. She was more dramatic. She was more, you know, just, just lash out with her feelings. He was more calm and collected and, and was able to talk about a lot of things that she wasn't able to talk about with mm -hmm. me. Even when I lost my virginity. I ran away from home at 15. 
I lost my virginity 15. I ran away from home. So you ran away because you lost your vi- or I, Well, I lost my virginity when I ran away because I was laid up with a nigga. Oh. But no, it was it was just a lot of stuff that I was going through with my mom that I feel like I couldn't talk to her about. And Are versus, y'all a lot alike? We are. We definitely See, that's alike. why. Because y'all bump heads, heads. The time, attitude, her mouth, my mouth, everybody mouth. Yeah. So that's why I feel like my daddy should have been there for that balance. And he wasn't. But at the same time, your daddy probably left because of that. So how how is he gonna be there? That's fine. He don't have to. It don't have to be me, him, and her in one room. You know what I'm saying? He can he can pick me up, spend time. It was just never the time. You know, mm-hmm. it was never. It was always. Even when I used to get dropped off at his house when I was little, he was gone. He gonna leave some money on the counter and leave me a note or something if I wake up. Hey, I'll be back later. I don't see him till about 10, 11 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. So it was never time. It was it was never. And I feel like I was missing a lot of that. But you know what I always say, you know, we're in a generation now where everybody is reflecting back on why people act the way how they do. And that's what I love about this generation. And when I think about it, I think about you, like with you and your mom, you're young enough where you can look and it's like, okay, she's this way. I don't like that. And I'm that way. I really don't like it. But how can I break this? Right. How can I? And it first starts with her, meaning like you and her, because if you can control yourself and your reactions around her, then there's nobody can really get on top of your nerves because she's that one who can press your buttons. She press them. Wow. <laughs> I, I just, I, you know, um, being one that's, you know, you wouldn't understand. Um, you know, my daddy and mama wasn't in the house together. And being, being going from house to house does complicate things as a kid. You know what I mean? It's not easy, but God got a plan. That's why we really the real ones, the ones that been through something, the one been through something. Oh, yeah. That's why we can, we know what it is to eat a syrup sandwich and use one piece of bread oh, yeah. and I just love fold sandwiches. it. You fold that thing. <laughs> you can use one piece and the booty piece might be the piece you get. We don't know. But this is what we what went through. I like the booty uh-huh. piece. Uh-huh. You know, I this like is what, as a, as a kid, not having nothing but whole cakes. And a whole Me. cake is flour mixed with water, <laughs> and you ain't got nothing else. That's where I'm from, man. So at the end of the day, when you get it like that, you get it out the mud. And it's really, really tough growing up, and it make you stronger. So what don't kill you really makes you stronger. Really? This boss talk 101. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, I mean, you got to think about it, man. You know, Dallas is in the in this early, like, even in the 70s when I was coming out here. In the 80s, it was tough, man. Concrete j- jungle. It was hot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, South Dallas, Bad Bear Dallas. Street. We, you know, we had to car wash on Sundays uh, later on down the line. We over at uh, Bobby's. You too young to know about that. Mm-mm. We over at uh, 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 UTB. <laughs> You, yeah. you don't know nothing know, about that. I know that. about UTV yeah, Stan, now. Shout out to Stan, <laughs> my guy. You know what I'm saying? You over at, you, uh, let me give you something else. An uh, anime. Yeah, I The know Ghetto about Club. House you know. of Jocks. You know what I'm saying? I'm a, I'm a real one. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. this, this is where we, on Lamar. Catfish smell thing. Oh, yeah. And then they done shut the other one down up there on Hatchet. Cockets. I'm mad about that. Yeah. Well, hell Cockets want the sign on yeah, my own, Yeah, because the fish got thinner and nah, thinner as was, we it went. Was, it wasn't hard or nothing. I don't know what happened to yeah, Top Cat. I'm talking to you. I think it was because they messed that, they, you know, messed the highway up and you couldn't get over there to it mm-hmm. and the fish just lost its quality. Yeah. yeah. It was something, man. That was, they, you know, Top Cat's, yeah. That was be me. Them jumbos, everybody. Like, no, nah, man. I enjoy under the bridge over there, you had some hell of a people over there under that bridge. Still do. I'm talking about they was there. When they got off of work, they were there. If they didn't go to work, they was there. They worked there. That's why they worked there. <laughs> Get you some washing powder and some, right. some bleach while you're down there. <laughs> Everything. It. It's all good. <laughs> Say, so, they still go so do, do, you all, do you always go back over there oh, every yeah. time you come back? I'm always in Sam Dallas. Because you done moved to Houston now. Mm-hmm. Third, which, does, which does not make me a Houston artist. Third I'm a Ward, Dallas artist. Third Ward Kiki third is in the Kiki. That's, That's what, what they, they calling you now. <laughs> they say Third Ward Kiki, man. I'm, I'm <laughs> still saying that Kiki. Who was, the, who, was the, who was the first person to call you Third Ward Kiki? It's, a, it's Houston people telling me, like, you don't even go change your name. You know what I'm saying? Because Dallas don't appreciate you. Nah, they just, I, it be jokes, but it's really cute, you know. It's wow. Really so who called you, who, who called you South Dallas Kiki for the first time? Uh, Money Man Rado. <laughs> Money Man Rado. And it kind of stick like a lot of people. Well, because they'll be like, 
You could be talking and be like, you talking about uh, Kiki. And they be like, you, who, who Kiki you talking about? Black Kiki from St. Alice? They always say that. So I don't know, it kind of stuck. So when people talk, so I just, you know what, my page got hacked one day. I had to change my name. I said, they always seen the girl St. Alice Kiki and I put that on her. And it just went up. Wow, you know, the one thing I can say, man, is, you know, when I look at you, you you moved and you go down to Houston, I worried about the fact, would you would you be able to get the chemistry with the music moving to Houston? Yeah. Like, going to those studios, the new places that you, you ending up at now, like, how's the vibe? What's the difference? Mm, I haven't really just started, I'm just now about to get out there, I ain't gonna lie, I just, I'm just now about to start working. I went to the studio once in Houston, it wasn't it wasn't giving me what what I'm used to, um, but I definitely want to work with because okay. um, because you know that's a mo three thing. So yeah, yeah long live three. I got to do that. Um, so I haven't hit him. I hit him up, but I ain't went to him yet. So that's my next step when I get back. Matter of fact, I'm gonna go to because and we gonna knock some out. I think it's gonna be dope with him though. Wow, you know it, you've been in the media a lot. You know what I'm saying? A whole lot. But, you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, being South Dallas Kiki, uh, I seen half paint. The other day having an interview and uh do you really have to be from Dallas to claim Dallas? Yes the fuck you do. Can y'all stop saying that half pint? I love you. No, you are not a Dallas artist if you're not from Dallas. What I mean, you can come to I'm a, I'm not a Houston artist. I'm in Houston. You know what I'm saying? I'm finna go out there, I'm finna work with people, I'm finna do I am still a Dallas artist. Uh I don't know why people just say anything. I think people say stuff now just to make somebody have something to talk about because that's ridiculous. How are you a Dallas artist and you're nowhere near from Dallas? Like they tell me I'm not from San Alice all the time and I've been in San Alice all my life. So then how can you tell somebody that they're a Dallas artist and they just got to Dallas last week? Wow. Um, I, but does, I, it, does it depend on how long that person's been here? Because if, if that person moved here when they were 10, and been repping Dallas the whole time. Do you still consider them Dallas artists, or that are maybe. they? Maybe I, I, I don't know. I can see that, but yeah, because a lot of people say uh, Megan The Stallion right. didn't graduate. She gra she was from San Antonio and, and now Houston. Houston. And now Houston because she, she graduated. But she read yeah, Houston in San Antonio, from what I'm hearing. I don't know that allegedly. Thanks. You know, San Antonio want to claim her because she hot. I mean, I would too, but now she she know what she is. She why she say Houston. Oh, so you just switched it up. Huh. I, Baby, I'm not no, slow. I'm no. not slow at all. San Antonio, what you just San Antonio did was you switched it up. If, if, I, if I went to, okay, if I graduated from college in Houston right now and I'm hot like I am right now, it's Houston people already right now be like, fuck that, we got we got third one Kiki. They trying to claim me. So why wouldn't they try to claim Meg? But Meg is not on her saying, I'm a San Antonio artist. What she say? She rep Houston all day, baby. She know where yeah. she from. So that's yeah. why I'm just saying. And you got to be true to your roots. Well, the girl that had pain head on that rep in Dallas all day, nigga. Let them rep Dallas. What you that's talking about? Hand pain, them going on our focal pain. I don't even know her. But uh, I run this Dallas shit when it comes to female. I don't give a damn. I think you really just Who's kind of you getting an attitude towards somebody claiming Dallas. You really, really <laughs> one of them ones, man. You really being wrong for that. You don't want a nigga to claim Dallas. No. So you, because you stop Dallas Kiki. That's not going to take away from my life. You standing hard it's on it. You I'm standing on business. I'm not letting you claim I'm that. I'm not going to be when it comes to Dallas all day. It's not going to take away from my life. It just be funny to me that they allow females, even niggas though, just to come from other cities and come over and act like they run shit. But it, when I say that, I made a status about it, but when I say that, I'm talking to my Dallas people because it means we're not doing what we're supposed to do. Well, let me just stop you there just for a minute, baby. I'm not Go from ahead. Dallas. I'm from East Texas. Okay. And let me just say this. I've been up here, though. I had free lunches over there off uh, over there off uh, Sanger and Beckley uh -huh. at the park <laughs> with these niggas in the 70s. But I ain't been, a, I'm, yeah, I'm older than these niggas. You I've been putting East down Texas. more work than these niggas. But you better believe if anything happened, East Texas tatted right here on my chest. That's what I'm saying. So you I know your never, roots. You know your roots. Yeah, nigga, because that's why I talk like this. So I would, tell my uncle people. and them up under that tree, nigga. Tell and people I that's coming you, over here to Dallas. My granddad are rolling over this grave right now. I'm from Smith. If you say you from where I'm from, from Smith. Okay. I'm from Gas Simmons. I think that maybe it's a new age thing. But at the end maybe of the day, don't, don't get it from. twisted. I, I, I bought a lot of stuff up here in Dallas. I ain't gonna yeah. say what. You know what I'm saying? But these but niggas you know had your oozes on the table. As long stuff. as you know where your roots are. As long as you know where your roots are. So even when your roots is there, but you don't visit, you don't go back, you still gonna rep there? Yeah. Why would you? Why would you not? Why would you not? 
though. That's the thing. That's the thing that you're supposed to be visiting. You're supposed to be going back. Even, you know, but if you don't and you just sleep there, a lot of if people you who don't, leave. You fake. Why is you claiming anybody? What is you rapping about? Because you, you have a lot about? of people who will <laughs> get famous and leave and but never you, go let, back. Let me let me stop y'all for a minute too. As, you, as now, hip hop is different. Yeah, you really, you really, I get upset with a lot. I don't say this often, but I'm gonna go and break it down today. This is an exclusive. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Listen, okay. Houston and Dallas and East Texas and all of them need to get off the boo boo. Mm -hmm. We are from Texas, right? And let me tell you something, pimp. That's why I'm a pimp C fan, like I am, because he rep Texas, right? He never UGK Bun B them rep Texas, right? When you look at all these other folks, don't get me wrong, they love Houston and they love now Bun a, a little more because he was born in Houston. He rep, but pimp. Pimp was at Texas, made short Texas. That's what made me, and he was he was from Louisiana. Right. But he came up here and he stood on business when he came to Texas. As a kid, he came up here. You see what I'm saying? To Port Arthur. So what I'm saying is we really, really need to break down these dividing walls when it comes to Texas. Because if we could do that, then we, you know, we could, you know how much paper we could get? Oh, yeah. We already do it, but when we go to each city, we rep our city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I think everybody knows the hidden clause that we stand on business for Texas, and we got to start voicing that more as well. You know what I mean? I so see a lot of that in my comments, too, especially on my Cowboy song. They like, hey, this 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 Texas right here, like, did you, you know, because it's Cowboy. Big, it's X, Big X made that Texas song, too. Don't play. Okay, that's my boy. That nigga, that nigga that killed that Texas song. That's my song. boy, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why I rock with him. He been on Boss Talk, yeah. too. Shout out to Big X, the yeah. plug. And they talk the about him. The nigga who pulled up. They talk the nigga about who pulled him. up to Boss Talk 101. Okay. Show Boss Talk don't love. Like he don't hey, pull up. Yeah. Don't talk about him. Pull up now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a bunch of people that pull up, but at the end of the day, I always value those guys. Yeah, man. do you but value me? Because you talk a lot of no. Really, I'm gonna be honest <laughs> with you. I'm still trying to understand the algorithm of South Dallas. Oh Kiki. my you know god! What I'm I gotta understand what's really going down with the South Dallas Kiki movement. Man. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm really disappointed in the. I need more music from you. you right. We need more. We need more developing artistry from you when it comes to online presence. I need to see yeah, you more. Yeah, because you're not posting I'm like not you're seeing you to. like that. So that's a thing that really upsets me about your brand okay. is that you you hide all week. And then you yeah. come out with your hair done on the weekend. Uh -huh. And nobody cares about that. Where was you at all week? We are fans of South Dallas Kiki. We really getting really... Sh where, the, I see where's you where right. Where you at? Where you, you at? Right. You know you what I'm right. saying? Where you at? You right. So I think that's a problem. I think you need to get strategic. I think you need to show yourself more to the people who love you and your movement will really, it'll permeate out of Texas. Right. And then you can- It can, can be anything. I see people be cooking. Cook! Doing, and videoing it, doing I'm a, You know stuff. what? I do this. I, but I'm an Aquarius. I get in my mode. I don't be want to be bothered. Uh, I don't be want to see nobody. Oh, I don't be you right, you in the wrong you right, business. Baby. Yeah, you got to show But I'll be back. No. no, you in the wrong business. We want to see what you're doing. Consistency is the only way you're going to get where you need to go. You right. So, you know, Cardi, you, you, you remember when Cardi B was coming up? You seen her every year. Yeah, and now she drop once every year. But, I need but, to get like her. But you got to be, you got the first do like you she right. did. She was yeah. everywhere right. for a moment in time. And that's the part where you can't be romantic in the beginning and hanging out just every now and then, opening car doors, getting out, going to the movies. No, nigga, look you at, outside. Look at Lil Kiki. Lil Kiki, he be posting quotes every day. Every day. Yeah. Posting something every single day. We own you now. Day. You on Boss Talk now. Oh, my God. You don't have to be you on Boss him, but he posting. All right. I'm going to post, y'all. I'm going to post today. <laughs> <laughs> nigga ain't right. Oh, they be trying to turn me down. You see, they already said it to my man. And they was better. I, but I it don't, don't like matter. Them playing with me. It don't I matter. Don't like you don't even have me. to. Let's get on that. Let's 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 get on that because I'm so over it. Well, let me just. Okay, I'm go so ahead. Over it. No, we, we want to mm -hmm. ask the question that the people want to know. Okay. I, I seen some posts and comments after you left here, and they po we posted a video of you. Mm -hmm. You was on on the come up OTCU mm -hmm. and with reality TV, and y'all were talking. And there were some things that came out in that interview, and I believe it was uh, Nina Loretta, mm -hmm. and she, which she came on here, and I brought it up. You know, uh, Nina Loretta basically uh, she stand on the fact that she is, you know, what I mean, one of the one of the. 
best rappers to do it, and she is the and best writer. in Dallas. And, and writer. Write, her pen game is stupid. So at the end of the day, you know, um, even she said that she basically wanted to do a song. She said that in the, in, in the comments, but nobody responded. South Dallas Kiki. Nobody said nothing when she said she wanted to. She'll do you know music because she really ain't on the. She, I'm not with the beef like that, but we can do some bars. And you know, you would think that somebody who claimed Dallas so hard, oh they'll be God. willing to just step up and jump on the track with her. What's up with that? Let me talk. What's up? Cause I'm not no fake bitch. We just gonna be one honey. Nina know what she said in her interviews. Nina Nina talked about Dallas, about our rap scene being trash and all that. And at the end of the day, I am Dallas rap scene. I don't give a damn. If you come to Dallas right now, ask who coming up in the game, they gonna meet you sat at the Kiki. So when you speak on Dallas rap scene, you're speaking on me. You're speaking on whoever in Dallas rap scene popping that shit right now. And as a female, there's really no other females that are pushing it like me that's popping that shit like me right now in Dallas. So as a female, I spoke on that. Ain't no niggas gonna need to speak to you. I'ma speak on it. That's just like, them my big them my big brothers. I got it. You hear me? So we just gonna be 100. Nina got on there and said we was trash. So for you to come over here and try to rap in Dallas, what, why say that? You know what I mean? Even if that's how you feel, if that's how I feel about Houston females, I'm not finna go and rap economics and say this shit in Houston. Yeah, but she actually said that that wasn't even addressed to nobody in she Dallas. She said it was about an ABC rapper, which she, she was getting into that girl. Why even bring Dallas in any then? If it's about a motherfucker that's from Alabama, San Antonio, whatever, why even say Dallas? My whole thing was, and I wasn't even on it. It's not even a big deal. I just was asked about it and then I spoke on it. So motherfuckers feel like they supposed to shut you up. This is my hood. Ain't nobody finna shut me up. I said what I said. Stop speaking on Dallas. Nigga, you come over here to rap. Rap. You the hardest show them. Because I, then I ain't taking my spotlight. I'm just going to be 100. But I ain't feeling no hoe come over here and say what they want to say about Dallas. And I don't speak on it. That's just what that is. I'm sad at the Kiki. Wow. Look, it's Dallas in my rap name. You ain't gonna let somebody disrespect me? But say, they doing enough already, man. So anyways, she did reach out to work. Uh, when well, she hit my manager, and he did let her know, you know what I'm saying, he gonna run it by me, and we can see. I checked her music out when he told me what I told him. I was with it. I was with it until Nina sat on the interview and said, um... You what what she say, uh uh y'all act like you you bitches act like y'all mean girls or something, y'all don't wanna work with nobody. When I try to reach out and work with y'all, y'all don't wanna work, uh and y'all don't even have to look. You hoes need BBL all these. She said that, not me. I I was hit up by somebody else that told me she wanted to work. So when I went to check her out, this is what I see. You hear me? And I don't know if you was talking about me or what because I hadn't responded to you working with you yet. But that's how I took it. So I left it alone. I didn't go on the internet and say I'm beefing with her or nothing. I saw that and I left it alone because I'm grown. So if you feel like that, every time you turn around, you know what I'm saying? If you feel like I need a BBL or if I don't got the look, then bitch, why you want to work with me? No, she really actually said on here, she did talk about the BBL and the look matters. But she did say she wanted to get on that track. With you and basically, because I'm hot, they no, let y'all no, know. No, 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 day, don't no, me no, 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 no. I put that together, saying who the hardest rapper? Because y'all both saying y'all can rap harder than each other. Who? I ain't got. I'm, listen, I don't have. She says she the hardest. I you don't say curl. You the hardest. I don't curl about another female. Well, who the hardest? Cur who curls? Who curls? If you if you got all the marketing, you say you got. Bitch, why you ain't blue yet? And I'ma just talk fat ass. Y'all talk this boss talk. I'ma just talk. Y'all block the cuss words out. This is me. So if, if you got all this, why you ain't blue yet? I'm a hustler. I get this shit day in and day out. That's why I don't post every day. I'm in the hood. I really got real life stuff going on. I really do real life stuff. So no, I'm not posting every day. No, but when I do what I do, I turn the internet up. I turn them up. So they can say I don't got this. They can say I don't got that. They can say whatever they want to. Say that Kiki sell, baby. Just cause I'm me. Just cause I don't got. You know how I many people inbox me, y'all? They be like, don't go get no BBL. Don't care what they say. I don't care what they say. I like you because you look like me. You hear me? You, I don't got no. I'm, I'm, yeah. Man, say, I would never. I wouldn't say. I'm a win out being me. That's what they don't. That's what they feel to realize. Niggas tired of looking at the, the females looking the same. They tired of hearing them talk about booty. They tired of. I'm a win because I'm me. I don't talk about none of that. We have pull a song up right now that I said something about, about my cat. And I'll give you a band. I promise you. Well, first of all, it's going to take more saying. than a band for me to look. I'm just saying. What I'm saying is pull a song up. What I'm talking about my cat. And I'll give you a band. And I ain't losing. I say it because I'm me. No, that's my point. And they hate that. 
So when you think about just um, the Dallas scene and, and, and basically the way that, you know, the females uh, are rapping that you have seen, and we ain't got to say no names, do you see anybody that's out there that's really making waves? <clears throat> who, do you, who do you see that you like this? this, this uh, or or is, is Dallas trash like uh, Nina Loretta said? Or, or what is going on? Nah, nah, I don't give a damn if don't nobody else decide to rap. Dallas ain't trash because they got me. You hear me? They had three. We lost three. You hear me? Dallas ain't never been trained. We got a lot of talent. We still got Seven the Great. He don't rap. He come out with one, one hit a year. Just like Carter Shout B. Shout out to and, Seven and the Great. Blow, I won't say it. Shout out to so, Seven the Great. Hey, right now we got Montana 700 Zillionaire Doe blowing up the map. Montana so, 700. I've been hearing so, a lot about them dudes. They can quit speaking Montana on Dallas being trained. Montana 700 and, and <laughs> Billionaire Doe. What? I heard about these guys. So bad. Who a nigga? He don't even got a chain on in his video. That's when you know these niggas really out here hustling trying to get their money. They don't even got a check. And look at number one on Spotify. Stop saying Dallas is trash, man. Wow. That shit be peace of That is crazy. <laughs> Ain't it crazy? Stop saying we trash, man. Wow. We just, it, it niggas out here, they, they, they really can roll over and rap right now and they'll make it. They just don't be want to put in the work. Let me I mean, ask you this, though. It's, it, it really, I seen some, uh, I mean, some people that really, really went in on, on the fact of, uh, it's, it's a boy that put a song out. It's a younger boy. I, I never seen this done before, but at any rate, you was you was allegedly <laughs> called out for being with a young man. Uh, didn't you hear about it, Ray? Yeah. How old were you? The world. That, how old were you when y'all... Um, they said they was two years ago. I'm 33 years old. Okay. And how old was this alleged boy? Um, He's 18. They now. said he was 14. Um, but if he's um, 18 now, that's two years ago. That let you know about the story. 16. That's what I'm saying. They try everything to turn me down. Everything. Man, Why like, did this all of a sudden come up? What happened? I'm, I'm popping too hard. I can't. I, I done sat here and thought about 50 million ways of why would somebody even play with me like this? They Girl. put this out on a Was lot it of this different voice who came out and said it, or is it other people who are so saying it? So this is where it's th- it's really it's really coming from 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 an old manager. The nigga, the nigga, the nigga. I don't even want to say his name. You don't have to. Because he won't clout so bad, I don't want to give it to him. Uh, but but anyway, the, the Mo3 old manager that nobody really know about, that was before Rainwater. Everybody know Rainwater. So this is where it started because now Mo3 gone. Rainwater blew with Mo3. This man feel like Mo3, I mean, Rainwater took Mo3 from him. So it, that, that was his big break. Name broke. So he ended up coming over to try to manage me. You know what I'm saying? Because now everybody said, oh, this the female three. She coming up. So boom, he want he you know he come over to her you know we start working. I really found out that he was some bullshit, and that's just what that is. Uh, the nigga was more into rainwater trying to trying to be a show rain. Hey, hey, I got the new female three. Hey, you know he was so busy into that he couldn't manage me, and I feel like I was still doing all the work by myself, just me and Rado. So what what do I need you for? So when I got rid of him, um, I fell out. I fell out with some girls that used to be cool with me, and um. Uh, one of the girls say, yeah, you was messing with a young nigga. So when he see that, he hit the girl, end up uh, telling telling her, I'm talking about this y'all, my, my son ended up going to the hospital the day this happened. So I'm in the hospital, which is why I've been quiet about the situation because I had to go be a parent referred. But they really be having me fucked up. So I'm in the hospital. The nigga hit me. Um... And he 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 calls the other girl, the girl that said it. He calls her on her. He tell me be quiet. So they just talking. Really, it, it, it's all seem to me it, it's jealousy. And I'm just gonna be honest. She went live to say I can't rap. I think I'm all it because my songs on the radio and all this. Where this coming from? That just sound like a jealous ass hoe to me. So I get the young nigga on the live. You hear me? Tell him what's up. So he tell him. You hear me? It's nothing. Ain't none of that. So boom, now they didn't go viral because the the, the world like makes more than they like the truth. So when 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 the nigga when I told you know oh now nah, we not gonna do the the management thing you know because because you too focused on rainwater and you 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 not trying to blow you trying to you know throw some in rainwater face I'm really trying to make it so boom he don't like that so he goes get his little income tax uh, uh loan um pay the young nigga tell the young nigga get on there and say the young nigga get on there and say. He came to me for some music to help me on some music, and, and, and I and I told him pull his pants down. I don't even play like that. Like on my life, I don't play like that with no young. I don't got. I don't even. First of all, I don't come for niggas. I make they come for me. I ain't never approached a man a day in my life since I started talking to niggas. They come for me. So I'm, and, and, and rape 
ain't one of the things. So we gonna clear that up right here. So for 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 that to go around, it, it, it really was pissing me off. I'm not gonna lie, it was pissing me off because I know what type of person I am. And then so how did you know that he paid him? Oh, they said it. No, we don't, man, say, the young nigga don't spoke to my manager since all this happened. You heard me? I got messages. That's why I'm saying I'm just not a police ass hoe. I got messages where I can sit up there and do the same shit they trying to do and post on there where we don't have conversations. This man don't have conversations with the young nigga since this happened to let him know that he wasn't trying to be on that. Nigga needed some money. And Dre was providing the money. And then they went on, 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 on Love and Sip Hop. And they got paid from him, too. They said that on his live at the end of the live. He said, make sure you get my back in. He told him, yeah, it's clown shit. And I feel like they playing with me because I'm going up. So even, I don't have so many podcasts reach out and say, this man is trying to pay them. He in their inbox trying to pay them so, they can, so he can sit on there and play with me. And a lot of them know the truth. They like, we not doing that shit. We already know this nigga. We know what he doing. When you don't do what he say, this how he gonna come at you. This nigga done messaged my manager and told him he got 20 more young niggas behind him that'll sit there and play with me like that. And I got the messages. I ain't never, but I'm just not no police. I feel like anything you sit there and try to touch, that's police shit to me. I don't do that on the internet. I'm straight side out of Kiki. That's just me. And that's why I'm a sale, because I'm always genuine and I want haunted. They playing with me and they know what's up. But I'm still going to make it because they don't make it. Everybody come over and follow me. And everybody see what's going on. They steady going on interview. The more they go on interviews, I feel like they put their feet in their mouth. So being quiet was my best thing to do because the more they talk, now everybody in the comments like, well, why y'all didn't go to the to the police? Exactly, that's if, what I was if, thinking. If he's so traumatized, why there no charges? Cause they lying. They know it. I I got in the comments and said, please go to the police. I want anybody that feel like they was anything done wrong to. I want them to get justice. I don't care if it's me or not. Which I know I ain't did no whole shit, so that's why they ain't went there. So now the nigga Dre on her. Oh, we ain't playing no police game. We ain't going to the police. You was the law when you got on the internet. The internet harder than the laws. They more detective than the laws. You was the law when you got on the internet. I feel like if this for real, and, and, and you really want justice for him, I feel like y'all should walk in the, in the police station. His mama know me. Why she ain't went and told him? Cause she know it's bullshit. She told her son get off the live when they got on on on, on so player shit. Get off her st selling that bullshit. Cause they know, but they want to play with me. It's easier for the internet to believe mess than it is the truth. And then we just gonna be one hundred. Cause why when the the video circulated when the, when the young nigga got on 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 face he on Facetime with Dre telling him this didn't happen. I ain't never seen that lady with her clothes out. Why they didn't go viral? But but you know that's how that wow happens. you know uh, yeah you know I I just seen it floating and it was everywhere everywhere and I was like damn man like I would and and I just interviewed her why I even mess with her like damn. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you better stop playing with me. You better no, stop playing no, with me. No. You mess with me, cause see, when you no, when you when you get to know, you can see me and them in the, in the same room right here, right now. You go, you gonna understand what's going on. I promise you. My body language not gonna change. I'm still gonna be 100. I'm just gonna be that real bitch. It's bullshit. It's, if I show you, as a matter of fact, I can show you when we get off the camera. I'm just not no police ass hoe. I'm not gonna sit on no internet to do that. I'll show you though. That this nigga like all this is a game for Dre. He takes his right on the daily. Hey, I'm a her. I got some more shit up my sleeve or I finna find something. He literally told him he got 20 young niggas that'll come behind him and say, I did something to them. And I bet you if he come to my with a new young nigga, they gonna believe it. That's what I'm saying. So I can't do nothing but be me, man. Well, I'ma keep popping my you shit. You know, the more you go up, the more you you know, the more they That's people what it's gonna, gonna come be. for you. No matter who it is, no matter what city you in, you can you blow up in Houston, it's gonna be somebody down there. Dallas get a lot Dallas been hating though. I love Dallas, but it's a lot of hate in the city. You gotta get big enough to see it. What I got oh, a question. Go ahead. So, um, because of the way how your personality is, you're very outspoken, you're very upbeat, all of that. You ever had anybody who um, trying to do business with you be like, well, can you tone it down a little bit? <laughs> I'm just curious um, because no, not, not business, like not not like it's a, a label or something. No, they love that about me. Okay, um, because it stands out. My mama, yeah, that's why we bump heads. She be like, you need to tone down. You need to be quiet. You need to not say your mouth gonna be this of you. Your mouth gonna be, but she. That's what. That's why they like me. Wow. Um, to be real with you, um, you my dog, right? Yes, what you finna say? <laughs> Can you give me uh, the first eight bars of that trust no nigga though? Just a little bit. Just just a little bit. <laughs> just a cappella for me because I'm, 
I'm real into that song. Every time I see you bouncing, oh out, my and you do God. that right there. And I say, ooh, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Give How the fuck look. you trust a nigga, girl, you stupid Really wanna know if he love you, bitch, then shoot his ass like Cupid I ain't even got the time for that, I told them boys I'm ruthless If he ever tried to play with me, I punch him down, Christian Rocky Toothless Boom! <laughs> Boom! <laughs> that's my girl! Hey, man, that's, oh my that's my boss talk, see It's a whole <laughs> different vibe over here <laughs> But I, I wanna, love that song but I wanna go hard, babe I wanna backdoor that because at the same time I remember the last time you did an interview with um, OTCU, somebody said that you can sing, and somebody promised that they won't come sing. What? Sing. You didn't know that. I wanna, so what? you said, I know the nigga I started out singing, y'all. I started so out singing. I wanna hear. No! What, I was, was like singing all these hooks and stuff. No, it's real. It was real. What did you but that I was one of the, what was the, What was one of the songs? Yeah, I wanna hear some. No, y'all. Yeah, you said it. You no. said when you came on Boss Talk that you were going to do it. I literally Man, did. That's how I started. I went to college in Tyler, Texas. Um, and it was some dudes down there that rap. And I got on their song and I sung. It made the radio everything down there. That was my first time. What was the song? I'm not singing it. <laughs> Okay, what's, the name? what's yeah. the name of the song? Uh, I think it was Me and You or something. It was about a girl and a boy. And, it and, was going and, and I was the girl singing and he was rapping. And yeah, it was, it was lit. I hit a high note and everything. Well, we you don't, don't want to do that for us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. That ain't what oh. she do though, most of you. Mr. Michael. What? Oh my God. Really? Baby, she said she would do it when she came back. Uh-uh, I don't believe really. it. I should have wrote it, but did you write it down to give me see my CD? <laughs> 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 Remember, hey, but no, I, I just really like I said, man, love to see you shine, bro. When it come down to that music, man, you had a little Christmas jingle too, didn't you? Do something? I ain't worried about a hoe. That went in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that. That's the part. Like that. That's the what we want to see. Ho, ho, we we want to see the music. They you know like what I'm these. saying? Like that's the stuff we want to see. Um, explain to me the Mo Three connection and 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 like. What you know when you went out to to his, his uh, grave site? Oh Lord! And you, I don't know. Some people was like, "Dang!" Like they didn't know it was gonna go down like that. They did. They what, was in I the mean, comments. What, what was what was the deal with that? They was in the comments saying she gonna somebody gonna do something to her. She not gonna last long. She keep trying to make three names live alone. Let him die. I'm not letting three die. So I don't care what they say. <laughs> like, that was my favorite rapper. And he from Dallas. So I just feel like, why not say three names? I mean, I just feel like he would have been a legend. They just didn't let him live long enough. I don't know. Uh, but one thing I do say at the end of it, uh, his mama gets my utmost respect. And she loves me. And I love that lady. Um, she calls and checks on me, make sure my life is good. When when they see stuff in the comments sometimes about people trying to take me down for uh, just, you know, living on three, they, they'll comment. Like, his family. His family comments. His cousins, his homeboys. His homeboys all in my inbox like, you better not let them take you down. You better go. You better. You know what three would have did. You know, it's like, they put, they for it. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I really don't what, know. What, how did the thing go? Work out? How the first thing go? Work out. <laughs> how did the whole go? <laughs> See, I'm the hardest thing coming out. Dallas, these niggas gonna know they ain't fucking with Keith. Niggas be all on the internet typing in the comments saying she the female three. Work out, ho. Hey, <laughs> but I don't go in, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I do this all day. This what boss And I was about. just talking. You yeah. know what? That little line right there. Made the internet go up. Like, I hit a million so fair work 22 days. Mm -hmm. We hit a million 22 days out that video. That was my first time ever hitting a million. Then I made the billboard in uh, New York City. Ooh, yeah. I made the billboard in New York City. Man. Hey, that's why they hate though. You see? Me. And this is all out for hustle. When I tell y'all, I don't got nobody behind me putting no money behind me. I hustle. I don't even work. I hustle. They see what I do. I do her sell enchiladas, baby sick kid. What we doing? Whatever we doing, that's why you just call me baby D. Hey, like, I, I got my boys Brown here. I'm gonna put y'all, I gotta get y'all yeah, on the track yeah. together. He a Hispanic brother and he work hard like you. But you know, he don't he work during the week. I too. love the Hispanic brother. He work though. during the week too. Okay, though. my work is rap. All I'm what saying you is, saying? No, he work doing rap okay. during the week. Yeah, where you at with <laughs> yours? <laughs> no, you but know what? you know what crazy thing is. I don't move to Houston, and I just got on at the bank down there. Really? So that just might have been for me, you know. I knew you trying, been you're trying to you trying to be low key. I got on at the bank. I don't want to do her no more. South Dallas low key key. I don't want to do <laughs> her no more. So I got on 
play at the bank. I'm still gonna rap. Just go be professional during the day. It, man. I, I, put on, I wear it. a lot of hats, man. Wow. So, <laughs> but when you first started rapping, what made you rap? Like, who made you rap? I've been knowing how to rap since I was a little girl. I don't know where it came from. Uh, we used to be in Sab Dallas on the green box. Just beating and rapping and it just used to come out. And what's crazy because I can freestyle then. I can't even really too much freestyle like that now. I, oh, she's serious my, about because it. My mind got a little slow. <laughs> <laughs> but now, um, I've been knowing how to do it. I think what made me come out with it more because as I grew up, the internet became more of a thing. Back then, you had to really get out there, CDs and sell your work. Go here, go there. You don't got to do that no more. You can sit at home in your car or something and do a video. And if you just the right type of person, it's going up. They like you. So, I don't know. I got, I got store quality. It's always been like that oh, about no, me. No, you hard, Everywhere man. I go. Like I said, the only reason I didn't bring you on Boss Talk, just going to put it out there one more time. <laughs> Uh, my cousin, shout out to Shanique and Shanice, who was doing earring piercings in the oh bathroom in high school and junior high. Should have yes. went to jail for it. Shout out but to at any rate, they uh they was trying to tell me I had to get you on here. This was before you was even you was not even hot at the time. Oh, well. They were like, you got to do her. They know they it was were coming. Like, that got they your friend. They nigga. knew it was coming. I, I don't like me. them little niggas like that. But I got now, friends that can't rap though, and I wouldn't dare try to no, get them. There is not no artist <laughs> like that. They don't know talent. They knew it. Them niggas crazy. They was right this time, though. <laughs> they was, they right. was right they this know. time. They crazy. Them <laughs> niggas. But they was right. They yeah. was right, man. Because yeah. I didn't want to do this. I just did a video when they actually sitting in the car with my cousin. And I was just talking to her about a nigga. And we was going back and forth. And we was rapping. Yeah. And it went viral. The next morning, we woke up. People in our inbox. Can you do one about this? Can you do one about this? Can you do one? I did another one. Went viral. I said, well, let me see if I do this. What what what, what did it do? And uh, actually, I was with a group called the Rah Rah Girls, and it's and the, and the kids used to say Rah Rah shit, and it meant fight. So we made a song called Rah Rah shit, and they started calling us the Rah Rah Girls. And my cousin, we fell out because she wasn't taking it as serious as me. And uh, how we fell out, I was opening up for Mo Three, and she was supposed to come, and it was a group act, and she didn't show up. So I had to take the mic at the last minute and get up there like, Fuck it, let's do something. Like, and I didn't have no songs without her. So I just had to kind of just make it work. And three came out on the stage like, girl, you hold it. You gonna make it. Like, you told you that. I mean, I, man, say, when, when that moment happened, I think I got the name Sad Alice Kiki probably a couple of months later, and I took off. Wow, Jeez. and that's that's crazy. So he passed. When, you, when, you, when he passed, tell me about yeah. how, that, how that was for you. Man, it hurt my heart because... I had just started my career as a rapper, so I wanted to work with him. You know what I'm saying? This 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 really who looking at him do it and he even from back when he shot the video at the church and on the bike and three didn't have no money behind him. He was out there doing this shit like that. And you could tell he didn't have the money, but he was still doing this. I was like, man, he can do that shit, I can do that shit too. I'm, I'm gonna get the money, I can do it. So that's really where I'm at now. I'm hustling with this shit. That's why when people make statements about me and say well she on God with well, she on, they don't even know what I've been through to sit where I'm at. So sit right here. This man, it's a black cry <clears throat> when you first reached out to my manager because even me and him been pushing it so hard for the last three years strong nonstop, and he been saying, "Why they don't see you?" Wow, so you yeah. cried because Boss Talk called you. I did. I was in my feelings cause, <laughs> because it just let me know that everything Bro, I was doing I, wasn't going up. It wasn't even notice. about you, though. Oh, my God. You know what I'm saying? Like, you tripping. But but you got to understand, it wasn't just, I, I got to be honest, man. But from her perspective. No, Low Deezy had tried to get you on here, too, and I, yeah. I didn't let it happen. I fuck with Low Deezy. But yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't, it had nothing to do with Low Deezy. Yeah. It had nothing to do with the twins. Yeah. Ah. Well, it did have everything. You start hearing my name. You know, <laughs> It had nothing to do with low D's, but it had everything to do with them damn twins. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. My girl. Everything. That was you gotta, that's my girl. I like, opened up for Glorilla when she first got high, before she blew blue, like when that song, F, F and F, when that, yeah, I opened up for her twins. But you know this, when I called you, I called the twins them to call you. I didn't call nobody. Yeah, them my because I Because I know this is how all of this have to happen, yeah. because that's, they at my house, they with me, they been with me since they was babies. <laughs> I know what a day when they was whatever. However they got here, I'm the nigga that was with their oh mom and everything. God. I'm partner partners with these folks. This is my cousins, my kin folks. They been knowing me so, since like yeah, I know. didn't know. I didn't care nothing about that. They oh. already they bad. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know how I am about it. I was worse than them. No. So you hell no. They got in some stuff, but <laughs> but 
I think I had yeah. I was I was a fighter. Y'all was horrible. I I was. I'm if that's the case, that's I'm that's that's why I ain't let you on here. This it was, is a, it was, this here is a chance environment. Just, it's very I this is pure. This I is changed. pure. You know, this is a pure <laughs> co- podcast. We should call this podcast Pure Boss Talk One On One. You talk trash. I know that you oh, okay. back out there called the thing. You <laughs> people told so me you was crazy. If I got her, <laughs> so let me ask you this. Um, since you love Mo3 so much, and I know that Rainwater still have like a lot of his music that has not been released, have you ever thought about or have you asked him, hey, can I hop on this? I got a song right now in my phone with three. Wow. And I ain't, I haven't finished, like I haven't went to the studio and put out what I need to say on it, but yeah, I they people been trying to do that since, since they work out her song. Yeah. Oh, you need to do a song with three? I got a song with three right now. And I ain't gonna lie, the reason I didn't put it out is because I don't, I don't, I don't want to look like I'm trying to do this off of three name. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? I'm doing this for me. Um, it's just he's my favorite rapper, and y'all killed him, and I and I feel like he should live a long time. Long as I'm rapping, he gonna rap. So I don't know, but uh, I didn't want them to say, "Oh, she clout chasing," because that's what I'm seeing mm-hmm. in some of the medias right now. Oh, she clout chasing out three, but I talked to this man. But can't mama. you do it like you you giving homage to him? I did. That's why I did work out. Right. And now now I got people saying they gonna do this to me. What they gonna do to me? I need to quit saying his name. He let that nigga die. I'll let it. I'm not scared of nothing. So really, what has happened is. Mo3 fans them pretty much embraced the South Dallas Kiki. Let's just start right there. Definitely. And this is what you have to base a lot of your movement on, on how you operate in this realm. Oh, yeah. And they love you that much, and they ain't trying to hear it. At all. Wow, At how all. big was that for them to all embrace you like that? That's very big. You see what I'm saying? I just made a comment what people were saying in the comments. They were saying, she said like a female Mo3, and I just said that in my song, and it went up. So, I don't know. I just be speaking what really go on in my life, and that's what happened. I did that. Uh, not It wasn't even work out, hoe. Um, what song was it? I want to say Pressure. Um, I don't know what song it was, but I did it, and when they posted it, they everybody was in the comments like, oh, this Mo3, this Mo3. It sound like Mo3 came back alive. Or even his baby mama, uh, you know, uh, that's Puka Leroy's sister. Yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Shout, uh, out shout out to Puka Leroy. Shout out to Puka Leroy, oh God. Uh, yeah. Even his baby mama was saying, uh, he told me, she said, yeah, she sound like my baby daddy. And that sound like he came inside of her. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I like it. It brought tears to my eyes to even know that they, I don't hurt it. But what? You cry all the time. I do. You cried about becoming on Boss Talk. I did. So that's what I'm saying. You just cry all the time. I do. I'm still a girl. I'm you Steve re- Harvey. I'm just, so you I'm not just, just only Mo 3. You I'm Steve Harvey. I'm just a real nigga in here, but I'm you know still a girl. Say, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> you done got Sylla Miller in this Yes, home. I cry. That's I all I cry when they're trying to take me down on the internet. I, you go cry. It's okay. That's all. Shit, hard. I picked it up and walked on. Yeah, I'm still rapping, still smiling. My son love me. Everything good. That was a lot, but but Gunna Measy, you know Gunna Measy when he came home though he did this song called All Eyes on Measy that Tupac right. three, yeah I and, see and, that. And, and in the song he basically made it like me and three made up you niggas just didn't know about it and he yeah. died too early mm-hmm. for us to put it out there so when he came to sign me that song was out so I'm thinking it's dead you know now when I got over there, after we done signed I posted a video me and my homegirl and them in the, in the thing and more three songs was in the background can you, can you and he said take it down yeah I can ain't good told, ain't good. Told you don't give it. me that. No, can you hear it? I mean, it sound regular like when I don't have the earphones on. Hell no. no. Oh, and then I can't hear it. Can you hear it now? Oh, I can hear it now. All right, don't do it. Right. I sound like, I'm hey, like what? hell no, <laughs> nigga. You want to hear it? So he told you to take it down. Oh, yeah. He kind of said, take that down. I said, why? He said, nigga, three playing in. Like, he was angry, like, arguing, like, fussing on the phone. And. When I when he heard that, I was like, oh, no, nah, this nigga, no. Nah. You knew I was a three fan before I came over. So we had to sit down and have a meeting. I went off in the meeting. It was some turtles. It was some weed from the fight. All that, because I finna slap shit out of me. But I just, we just came to the agreement that, nigga, this ain't for me. So yeah. how long was your contract supposed to be for? Shit, a year. Oh, so the contract, you did do the contract, or yeah, you got out of it? I got out of this shit. It was the they and it was agreed you. upon both parties. Okay, you know, okay. Because they knew I was gonna go to hell and high water. See, nigga don't want you to get on there and say, girl, he didn't girl, he in two or three. He told me to take the video down and all it. He don't want that out there. So they're gonna agree to let me out that contract so I can be quiet. Yeah. But you just said it on post talk. Who? Who gonna with me? They ain't gonna do shit to me. I can say what I wanna say. I'm just saying. All the smoke. He in it too. He a girl too. Why ain't did y'all, did, y'all didn't diss a song. Did y'all have a, he had a, y'all the songs out against each other then? Who? 
Man, that nigga make songs every. Uh, that nigga make so many songs about me. He try to say male, like he talks about a, a, a dude, and it be about me. Cause, cause see, you look like a girl, cause you get in tune with a girl, so you gotta say nigga. But he be talking about me. Yeah, he man, he a girl. I ain't never made no song about him. I don't have to. He's a girl, literally. He won't fight. He won't. He can't come outside. When he do come outside at the same performance he was with me, he had thirty two securities, and he sat backstage like literally on the ground where you couldn't see the nigga the whole why, time. Why? Why he can't come outside? He's scared. He talk a lot of noise, and he's scary. He, he can't even go to his own hood. Why you think he made the East Dallas song and try to put baby name on her and try to get some niggas from East Dallas? He want them niggas to come over there and befriend him because he don't have nobody. I promise you, man. I say these niggas be weenie. That boy is a girl. That just, he long just like his hair. That's why he got the. I'm just say these boys is weenie, boy. I know. I ain't gonna no. lie. I, I thought y'all had a good relationship. We don't have a, a thing. I don't. You don't just do him like that. I don't like that. I don't like him at all. Y'all can't never be friends. That man got on. That man got on. Listen. Rainwater came on her. This is where it started. Rainwater what? came on her. What Rainwater said? Oh hell. What he say? I offer Kiki. I offer Sad Alice Kiki. No, that was no, no that was that was, that was a real life street style. Okay, because he, he ain't said listen, he, he, he ain't said that on here. He said a lot of stuff on here. Though. No, he ain't said <laughs> that. He ain't said that on here. No, okay, so he went to real life street stores and said, um, sat at Kiki, I offered her a deal for two hundred and fifty thousand. She didn't want to come over here and sign with me because she was with Gun Amazing him. So when he said that I shared the, the post and said, You niggas be trying to say I ain't loyal though. When I shared the post, Gunna Meese was so hot that he went live and started just trying to talk about me. And I, like, it was, it was weird. You that mad? Cause I shared a post and said niggas be saying, I didn't even say who I, like, it didn't, I don't know. I just feel like he had animosity already. And the whole time I was over there, it was like they was trying to get my move. Everything I see Sad Alice Kiki do, I did on my own. I didn't, I didn't call right out to do nothing. I didn't wait on nobody. I did that on my own. I do shit with no money. I ain't gonna care. I be, I could be dead broke. Just pay rent, bills, everything. Just got my son together. I ain't got no money. I'm going outside. I'm finna go get in baby in them face. I seen Jonathan them had a skateboard. I call right. Let's go. We going. We going. When I got there, I'm gonna make these niggas play my music. I'm gonna get in their face. All that's for me. So when people see me doing it, they be want to help me. They want to help me. They want to do shit for me. And these niggas get mad at that. Well, why, why they got sad at the key? Baby put me on, uh, 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 what was that? Uh, 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 that, uh the game. The Brown and Preview game. Yeah. Yeah, Love, baby. Baby awesome. Bay Bay put me on the Brown and Preview game. Boy, niggas cried all week. Niggas cried all week. Why they got sat at a kiki on her? They could have put anybody on her. Well, she paid them. I don't pay niggas for shit. Baby saw that hustle. And he liked it then. And baby said, you been making all, you ain't nonstop, you ain't. Come on and put you on this show. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. That's just, that just like Dre. That nigga try to go over there and tell him. He put $20,000 behind me showing niggas fake receipts. Telling niggas, yeah, uh, I got on the show with Bebe. Man, my talent got me on there with Bebe. That nigga got five other artists. Why they not on there? They was uh, his artist before me. I had Jet came over there. Why them niggas ain't on there? It's, they, they don't be trying to get my credit, man. I hustle for these. Real wow. time. Well, let's get into this freestyle, man. Uh, you know, we finna get some music out of South Dallas Kiki. All that talk is over with. You know what I'm saying? Oh Once the God. talk is over with, then you have to come with the real spiel, oh the real God. lyrics, the real South Dallas Kiki, the name, the brand is on the line right now. We about to get into it. Boss Talk 101 with our bosses talk, man. Let's get it. Sick Let's go, man. Boss Talk 101. Let's go. Don't plan on falling in love for shit. These people be counterfeit dead. Just like the presidents. I had to keep them hoes out. The fuck is a friend? I treat them just like they residents. They was just sticking around. They knew I would win. I cannot fuck with yeah. the leech, though. Got up and ran to the internet playing on my name. That's when you turn to a weak hoe. Thought I was weak, so that when I start speaking up, I can't go down as a yes man. They say you jumped in the booth. Too young for a heart attack. Go get that shit off your chest then. Friendly as fuck. I got them hoes teaming up. So you know that I am powerful. I'ma need less than an hour to take. They just try to ruin me. I did Let's go. Though. See, I don't give a damn who y'all Yeah, man. Boss talk one on one, man. Stop playing. Peace out. Ever since I jumped in the booth, going hard, niggas dicks out. Hard when you gotta cut your finger just to try to say your hand. Fuck it. Go and cut his wrist out. Time up. Go and take the kicks out. A lot of these rap niggas peace cause I'm harder, but it's his fault. I ain't need number. Wake up and be me. Then niggas get mad cause I charge him a fee. Why would you want me to pop out for free? Yeah. When I just paid the rent and these kids gotta eat. I ain't nowhere near rich. Why the fuck would I sleep? These niggas free game. Why the fuck would I tweet? You see me with him. Why the fuck would you speak? I'm hustling right now. We eat noodles. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Stop playing, man. Boss 
Dog 101. South Dallas Kiki. Here oh going God. down. Stop playing with the South Dallas Kiki, man. Say that to me. Y'all make sure to follow me on everything. Quit playing. Man. <laughs> Bro, how do it feel, man, when you get out like that, man? I love you. I'm so man, bad. Stress reliever. Listen, man. You, you, you dope, man. Like I said, I can't lie, man. I try to keep you out, man. I boxed you out all I could. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to let you in the game. You know what I'm saying? Man. Everybody, I, 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 I try to box you out. You know, I play ball over here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you, you dope, man. Like I said, man, the only thing I ask you is just to keep on doing it. And then keep on putting it in these niggas' face. You know what I'm saying? Keep on keep on rapping, man. Keep on putting that sound out there where everybody understand, man. South Dallas Kiki is here to stay. You know what I'm saying? Most people, the only way you lose is what? You quit. If you don't quit. Y'all I'm best saying, okay, yeah, if you, you quit. quit. If, you quit. if you, quit. you quit, you lose. But mm -hmm. other than that, if you work, you win. That's what you got to understand. And it don't matter what nobody say. It's all about what you do that's going to predict what's going to happen with your career. You understand what I'm saying? You got a hell of a brand. I and and, and and you got to make sure to stay on these niggas' necks and stop crying all the time. Okay, like, I'm going to have a few turns, like, but you no, know. No, nigga, if you going to cry, put it on a song. You know what I'm saying? I got some of them. I got you some of them. You got some of You know what I'm saying? I got some of them. Put it on the song. You know what I'm saying? Has there ever been a rapper, a female rapper, of course, because men not going to do this, that actually, while they're rapping, they're actually crying? I got one. Like, you could actually hear it in your voice and you're crying and you... You do? No, you ain't gonna do that because they gonna eat it all in. But I mean, no, but that would be because especially if you're talking about real emotions and you're trying to be transparent because we're in a day and age where everybody's so called, so called being transparent. Yeah. But that would be dope. Like when you're talking about that 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 certain part, you start like. And then you chip it back into beast mode and keep going. I might give y'all it, because I do be, um, it be true. You understand what it I mean? Some I got some songs with some real stuff that make up, yeah, yeah. Because people might really feel that part yeah. when you do something like yeah. that. I'm going to send you a beat. I want you to do me a song for Boss Talk 101. You know what I'm saying? Just something I can play. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I, I throw, you. I told you the beat. that I I'm going to throw you. that first beat I had. You remember the first one I had? Because a lot of people scared to come behind EXO. Oh, EXO go hard. I'm not scared. That's the homie. I'm not scared. Because you heard our <laughs> intro, right? You, you hear it every time it comes. Oh, okay, okay, when we get done, I'm not when we get done, we'll let you hear the whole thing. I'm yeah, not scared. Yeah, 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 man. Thank you so much, man. Side Dallas Kiki, how can people get a hold of you if they're trying to reach out? Side Dallas Kiki on everything. I don't care how you put wow. it in. I'm a pop. Matter of fact, when you just put in Side Alice, I pop up. Wow, wow. <laughs> That's hard, man. And and like I said, man, um, top three artists of all time, dead or alive. Um, any genre. Any genre. Uh, one. About three. Two. <laughs> That's hard, but two. Tupac. Three. Number three. Uh, Lil Wayne. That's hard. That's hard. <laughs> I love your top three. That's, that's a hard top three, man. So, um, other than that, I think I, if you could go back, if you could go back to when you was 17, 16, and talk to your 17, 16-year-old self from this point of view, from you, who you are today, what would you say? I would have started then. And what would you say to that person, that 17-year-old, as oh, yourself right now? You got it. Cause, Cause see A lot of times Coming up how I came up Even being dark skinned Female Or, or just heavy set They try to make you feel like You not that And I would have told myself Nah you that Yeah like, That's all yeah, I ain't never had nobody tell me that So that's something I had to learn on my own And tell myself So, so now, really? now I'm to the point Where I know I'm that now they hate me. You hear me? They didn't, they didn't want me to find it. I found it now. So That's yeah. hard, man. <laughs> well, hey, man. Thank you for coming on the show. You've been on Boss Talk 101 now. Yeah. This hard. I did hell. both. Hey, hey man. Oh so you check it, man. <laughs> It's been a first of all, guys. If you want to see the these clips that I'm about to do, you you done seen the full interview. You watched it. You see me now. But the clips coming behind this, when you see all the stuff she talked about, animated. Oh, man, it's about to be live, man. Oh, we did a lot, man. So get in there and check this next clip out right now. And if y'all love this clip that you just watched, man, when I mean she cut up so hard, this next one going to blow your mind. Wow. It, that has been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the boss is so. And we out.